so good if today there's oh, no uh, no one mm -hmm. what to share so far. Nobody gave me a sign. Yeah. So no. I was thinking to read a text uh, or if you would assign someone, mm -hmm. huh? Chandra will reveal something. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Um, Radhe Radhe Kurudev. Nice invitation. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Actually, I also don't know what to share. But I read something recently, I read something very nice. Not About not speaking of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not nobody pictures coming. There are many philosoph philosophical schools in India over the centuries, in the history. Many schools, they've wrote commentaries on Vedanta. And when Mahaprabhu appeared, he of course also studied and know everything. Uh. They are the schools of Mayavad schools yeah, yeah. and Dvaita and Advaita with the different Acharyas and teachers. And Mahaprabhu Somebody wants to come and tell you he brings something new that he calls uh, Achintya Abeda Beda Tattva. That was not taught before. And it means that God and the soul simultaneously are one and different. And that was a completely new conception of philosophical understanding. It is a spiritual truth that we, that we cannot understand with our material tools. Our senses are material. Our mind is material. Our intelligence is material. But this simultaneously being one and different it is beyond the material understanding. So he named it Achintya. It is unconceivable. But it was very nice explained that this understanding is for us also the foundation to understand Leela. If we don't understand this foundation of simultaneously oneness and being different, then the conception of Leela will stay a mystery. We will not understand that. Because Radha and Mohan, they are eternally one. 
you cannot separate them, but they manifest two forms only for Leela to exchange loving feelings. So, again, Mahaprabhu, he uh, geniusly, he put all this Raga Bhakti. Maduria non ti senti. He put on the foundation of Tattva. It is very important to do that and also to understand that because otherwise everyone will think, oh, it is only sentimental. It is only imagination. So he gave all the service to Rupa Goswami to put everything yeah the goal is manjari bhav in raga bhakti with loving feelings but it has to stand on a strong philosophical foundation if it is not then nobody can follow that and nobody will believe that They will only say, ah, they are only, uh, how they say, uh, sentimental. <laughs> so, I like this. Uh, I think it was a lecture that I listened. So, yeah, that is very important to understand that then the door for understanding leela she bad on radha to be close to understand yeah okay that came to me thank you radhe radhe very nice Beautiful. Radhe, Radhe. Gurudev? Yes, yes, yes. No, I, I just wanted to ask if he could explain this a little bit deeper because I don't understand this. What is this? Simultaneously the same and, and not the same. So, could you please explain that a little bit more? He will explain. All right, Sandra. Please try to explain. Mm. Mic is on? Yes. Rade, Rade. Sandamas to all of you. You are not family. Oh, it's on. Yeah. Moise is there? Yes. Not even, to say anything. Even for me, it's not easy to understand this because I'm more in emotions and uh, try to become a child. So, and if there is too much philosophy, then my mind is not working. What I understand is the mercy that is given by Mahaprabhu to us is seated in our hearts. And uh, The tattva is not bad, but yesterday we read about how Nitai 
put the bath in the heart of his followers. It's only by mercy is coming, only by being close to him, all the disciples fall in different kinds of loving baths. I will only read it, maybe it's more clear. When Nityananda <coughs> Mahaprabhu told him that he has to give up his sannyas. And uh, after that, Nityananda goes to Goda. And from this, we all got the name Gaudiya Vaishnavas, right? Because they went to Goda and sprayed this bath to the people in their hearts. But uh, the thing is that we are in the line of Nityananda. All disciples of Guru Dev are in a direct line of Nityananda. And only by mercy, we got a special kind of bath. And so we are somehow on the pipeline, we said here, in a direct connection to Nityananda. And here I found the verse where he start disconnecting to all his followers and all the people of Gauda who met him only see his eyes. They got this bath. Nityananda went to Gauda. With him went his companions, Ramdas, Gadatadas. Raghunath Vaidya, Krishna Das Pandit, Parameshwari Das, Purandara Das Pandit, and so on and so on. Many goes to see. We have said before that Nityananda has been variously described as the highest tattva, the total Shakti of Krishna, the highest tattva and the total Shakti of Krishna. The very limit of prema and the guru of all the baths. That's very interesting to read it here. The guru of all the baths. How to understand this? Because who is really the guru of all the baths? It could be only, it can only be Mahabhav. And this Mahabhav we know very well. So and now we can understand that Nityananda is the expansion of this Mahabhav. And he is also what we learn in our line, Ananga Manjari who takes the part in this world to bless us with everything Radhika likes to give us and put in our hearts. And here it is described, the very limit of Prema and the Guru of all the bars. His Leela is according to his Swarup or personality. His Leela. Nityananda's Lila is the own Lila, is according to his Swarup or personality. That means Swarup is also personality. He has the capacity to bestow to anyone any kind of bath. He has the capacity to bestow to anyone any kind of bath. So again, Mahabha. Before starting to go there, 
he charged each one of his devotees with a particular kind of bath. He charged. He charged Ramdas with the bath of Gopal. Gadata with the bath of Radha. Agunat Vaidya with the bath of Revati, the wife of Balara. Sundarananda with the bath of Angada, Before, yeah. the son of Bali. And Krishna Das and Parameshwara Das with the bath of the Kvala Bala or the cowherd companions of Krishna. We can see here, he put many different baths to different kinds of his followers. And this is, we can say, the birth hour of the Gaudiya line. If we say we are in the mat of Gauda, Gaudiya mat, here is the birth place. Here it starts. Our line is directly from Nityananda, Ananga Manjari. So we are very, 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 very fortunate to be in this direct line and got, got it from Nityananda in the form of our Gurudev. He is an expansion of Nityananda directly. There is no break in this line 500 years long, nonstop. We can read it. It's a very short term time between this, this moment here with Nityananda put the bath in his companions. They were all drunk as lords with the wine of Brahma. Drunk to the extent of forgetting all about themselves, their body and its needs, thirst, hunger, and etc. And we are going on performing different kinds of lila, each according to the particular kind of bath that was implanted in his heart by Nityananda. You see, it is implanted. There is no need for uh, philosophy or anything. It all by mercy coming. Same we can, uh, at the moment, we meet our Gurudev, we can feel the same. He gives the sky bath in our heart. And from that moment on, we are clear who we are. The person who we really are. And at that moment we accept it, all tapa is, we are together with Sadharani, we're dancing on the crown jewel of the Vedas. It's so beautiful here. And at this point, this is uh, a book, um, Kapoor, oh no, this is another book. Kapoor. Kapoor. This is a beautiful book, and also Gurudev loves this person very much. And he described the companions of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And here we can see very clear where our roots are, where all is beginning. Just here, when he puts, he implanted the bath in the hearts of his companions, Nityananda. So beautiful. And this is the moment he also implanted it in our heart. It's only a small time in between this. And our line is, is all that what we need. So what he implanted in us? Manjari Bhav. Yeah, that's this is our line. We got it by Nityananda because he is 
getting all bars, his maha bar. It is so nice to describe. They were like soldiers of the army of love out on an expedition to conquer wherever it went. Its target were not the lands of the territories to which they went, but the hearts of people who live there. The army was well equipped with different kinds of weapons of bath, <laughs> which directly hit the hearts of people and drove away from them their enemies in the form of lust, anger, pride, hatred, malice, greed, etc., that had occupied them. Bah. If we get our bath, these are the, the weapons against our enemies. The bath is the weapon. The commander in chief of the army, Nityananda, the very image of love, the very image of love who led the army from victory to victory and went on announcing his victories not by the sound of band, but with the sound of kirtan, accompanied by the sound of kol, karatal, singa and conchal. The commander who had wrote to conquer the whole of Gauda, he gave a vow that he will conquer whole Gauda. Went from door to door and saying, Oh brother, sister, say Krishna, say Gauda, and purchase me as your servant forever. And the people were so moved by his entreaties, <coughs> his love and humility, that they felt like having been sold out to him for life. <laughs> so beautiful, huh? So now we got our roots. I think we have to read it because really to, to find the roots, we will understand when we find our history, like the roots, we will understand our Gegenwart, our present, why we are here, how it is possible, how is everything going on, and even that our Guru Dev is the expansion of Nityananda. And we are continuously in Manjari Bhav since this time our line. Maybe there are some cowherd boys also, but we are clear, we are not cowherd boys or any other. We are clear, we are Manjaris. We are only able to exchange that what we got, even the bath and then also the spiritual body. And we can only exchange feelings by using this spiritual body and that we have to, we need to accept it's automatically coming if our bath, bath is fixed we know we are manjaris and as manjari we can exchange loving feelings in the abode and we can start now today just now Lord hmm? chanda Yeah, actually, we are at the end of the line who receive everything. 
We are the small baby cows that only drinking the milk. <laughs> but how is coming to us everything now? You see? Why Mahaprabhu, he gave this job to Rupa Goswami? Why he say you have to do it? Why? There is some importance to put everything in clear philosophical conception. Of course, we don't need, and maybe also we don't have the brain, but the tradition in Indian culture is the different schools, they have competition, and you need to prove everything by Shastra, then you are accepted as an authentic uh, Sampradaya, like this, it's little like that. But, we find this conception of being one and different at the same time, we using the words also. You just said, Gurudev is an expansion of Nityananda. So that means that somehow he is Nityananda, but somehow he is also different. You cannot say Gurudev is Nityananda. But somehow he is an expansion of Nityana. So they are simultaneously one, but different also. How we can say that Krishna never killing the demons, everything is done by Narayan? Why Prabhupada say, Supreme Personality of Godhead? The meaning is there are other personalities of Godhead also, like Narayan and Vishnu and this and that. They are all within Krishna. Sure, sure. They are one, but they are also different. Yes. And even Radha and Krishna, they are one, but also different. So yeah. I think it is very nice to understand that because we also using the language and it makes the Leela sweet, no? that they are one, but they become two for the love. You're of right. course, yeah. maybe I am little too much German also using the mind. Maybe some others don't need all that. They just want to be in the feelings and in the bath. But if for the preacher, no, people, they have questions, they want to learn. They, first, we have to believe, ah, a sign, ah, this is God, I can accept that. Everything is clear, explained. Krishna you saying like in Bhagavad Gita, everything right. is on me, like a pearls on a necklace. So even we are expansions of him. God is everything. But you cannot say everything is God. <laughs> God is everything. But not everything is God. So it's little thinking. I understand that we want to be more in the feelings. But Gurudev asked me, to share something and just recently I listened this and I thought, yes, Mahaprabhu, he gave the service to Rupa Goswami to make it clear that people can accept that, that they not only think, ah, this Gaudiya Vaishnavas, they are all crazy, only crying and dancing and eating tons of prasad. <laughs> they are not, they are not good. They're sentimentalist. So, I enjoy that, <laughs> that Mahaprabhu geniusly, he gave that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Now I understand. I feel that they are so beautiful uh, 
leelas that help us to come into the feelings of oneness. And that's why I love so much this Manjari bath because it's between Jimati Radhika and Hadassi. But from the philosophical point of view, I can choose many examples. The sun and the sun's rays are one and different. The fire and the fire's sparks are one and different. There's many examples. But of course, my sadhana is Manjari Bhav sadhana. So I prefer to meditate in this feelings, how as a dasi, my swamini is, is giving me this mercy of intimate service through my Guru Manjari. And that is my focus personally. And I respect and I love all the different, different um, perspectives. And you are right, Goda Chandra. You are the in the teacher bath now. <laughs> Gurudev has put you in the teacher bath, and also you are assisting. For Jaya three Nathana. days, I was there. <laughs> huh? Huh? For three days, I listened that lecture. I don't go deep in that, but I appreciate what I just listened. <laughs> so wonderful! It's a wonderful uh, variety of uh, possibilities. Like you said, we start with the understanding we want to have faith and we associate with those who have faith. But when after you have heard it for many years and you have practiced that repetition of, of uh, explanations, then in our case, we need to go into the feelings now because that is what we take. Maybe the knowledge... We don't take with us because knowledge we have accumulated so much over many, many lifetimes. But feelings we take, the feelings are our treasure, is my treasure house. And I want to, if you, if you allow me, I want to share something that I read this morning that inspired me very much. It's only a short paragraph of uh, Raghunath Das Goswami's meditations from Braja Vila Stava, she's Stavavali from Raghunath Das, from his meditations. Sri Raghunath is a maidservant who has taken shelter of Sri Radharani's lotus feet. Sometimes she goes to Nandishvara as a girl messenger who carries a message of Virahini Shrimati, a girl separated from her lover. And then she sees Krishna playing here on this platform. This is Girivari Parvat. When Mohan sees Shimati's maidservant, he blooms up as if his life is fulfilled. How wonderful is the majesty of Sri Radha's love that Ananda Moi Migraha, Krishna, the embodiment of transcendental bliss, considers himself blessed when he sees a maidservant. Mohan is completely subdued by the love of Sri Radhas, who is his pleasure potency. He perspires even when he is repeatedly fanned by Sri Radha's restless eyelids. <laughs> Sri Mati Radhika is opening and closing her eyes a lot 
and I like this because she has beautiful, beautiful big eyelashes that are like fans. And when Mohan, you know, gets some fanning from her eyelids, he becomes very excited and he starts to perspire. And he remains thirsty, although he drinks the nectar of her smile again and again. In his Kinkari Rupa, Sri Raghunath experiences how wonderful this Astani platform smells of Sri Mohan's lotus feet. His heart and mind are intoxicated by this wonderful bodily fragrance. Radha's maidservant perceives how this fragrance maddens the mistress with feelings of ecstatic love. Wow. Here Tulasi Manjari is painting this picture in our hearts that how the maidservant is also one and different with her mistress. With wow. Swamini. She is going there as a messenger girl, and she is. When even Mohan sees her, he becomes so ecstatic because he is thinking, Wow, my Radha's maidservant, is she bringing a message for me? Will this day be, be successful today? Will there be a chance that I have her Dasha? And the maidservants, she's seeing Mohan there on this platform of Giriraj Pavat in, in Nandagaon. And she's going there and she is smelling the wonderful smell of his lotus feet. And she's keeping this smell in her chinta, in her heart, in her consciousness and, consciousness and delivers it to Swamini. And she might say, my Swamini, the smell of Mohan's lotus feet was so beautiful today. I kept it. And do you know why his lotus feet smell so beautiful? Because these lotus feet, they have touched you last night. You remember? His lotus feet are so beautiful and so fragrant because he has mixed his lotus feet with your chest. And that's why the smell is in whole Vrindavan and everyone becomes intoxicated from it. And Sri Raghunath says, I take shelter of this Astani platform, which is scented by the fragrance of Sri Hari's lotus feet. <laughs> Gurudev always explained that the oneness we have in love, no? <laughs> the love makes the oneness. The Manjari can feel Radharani. This is their oneness. So we are not one in person, but we are one in love. That is teaching of Gurudev always. But when you are reading Suniti, something came to me why it is important also to understand that we are not one and the same, that we are different persons, but one in love. Mahaprabhu is so merciful 
he also wants to bring back the people that are trapped in this Mayavad philosophy of oneness. They cannot understand feelings of love, longing, missing the lover, when they think, anyway, we are one. I am you, you are me. Separation is illusion. We are all one. So they are trapped. That is very sad. These souls, it's difficult to come out of that conception. They cannot understand love. And for our bhajan, Separation mood is the most important thing. If we think we are only one, then how separation mood can come? So, we want to be one in love. That is the essence. <laughs> and, yeah, I think Mahaprabhu want to help also these souls, they are trapped in this conception of everything is one. I am you, you are me. Separation is just an illusion. That is my understanding now. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good. Very nice. Achinta Veda Veda Tantra. Jai Ho. Yeah, this is that. At the same time, we are one, and at the same time, we are two. Right? Who is this Thai Bath? This is to for feeling, but feeling has to be a Thai. Then I can see that. Right. Bhav has to be a Thai to see this. Without Bhav, a Thai not happen. We cannot see this Achinta Veda Veda. Why? Because the feelings are different, different. Sometimes we think we are one means one person. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we see something different way that uh, I am the God. I don't need any. Closeness because I am the same like you. The feelings are different, different. We have to feel that Swami, I am your Dasi. And how to increase this feeling more and more intense? And when this feeling goes more close, 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 like morning time, 21, you are in. Uda. 90, it was 90. Mm -hmm. You read one more extra 91. Mm -hmm. When you see 91, what is that to sh make that manjari more close? Mm. <laughs> 91. 
very deep. Hmm. Very deep. But these words are so deep that only close person can feel it and see it. Hmm. And this closeness means how much I close, I understand my son and her love for his love, her love for Krishna. Mm -hmm. And Krishna so much love for Radhika. This is just this is just a question that comes in my mind about the above being stronger and less strong. You say that the, the origin of our movement is this implantation of Mandariba. No, I don't say it. It's yeah, no, you don't say that. The, I, I only the, read this. the book says that. Very good. But we feel that unequally. We devotees, mm. Gurudev feels it completely, of course, and you feel it very strongly, but it's quite variable in devotees. Mm. We are, our, our activity is trying, trying to increase that so we can feel it fully. 100%. So what is that? If it's been implanted in us all through this tradition, why is it we don't all feel it completely? Wow. Because this one is what... what is. This is what Nora Chanda also explained that we are on one hand one, but also different. And this difference is our unique position, our feelings, what we are growing, our relationship. This is unique. We are not alike. Uh, the, the meaning of this army is not that all are, you know, clones. clones. Yes, right, right. Word. The meaning of we are very individual in this. We have to grow in this. And also uh, these days, there are so many who say they are Gaudiya Mats or following the school of Gauda. But if you ask, for example, who, who you are when you are in Gaudiya, in this Gaudam, Gaudiya Mat. Who is your position? And they don't know their own person, their own bath. Then how will they come in a relationship to Rata or Krishna? How can be this possible? So many of them are, are very uh, high teachers, I would say. And they know all the scriptures. Right, Gorachanda? We know many very elevated people who know all the scriptures. They can, uh, if you ask for, for a sloka, and zack! It's there. This you can ask. But then, if you ask, what is your, for example, your name, who you are there, are you Gopal or are you Manjari, or what is your position, and they don't know, then somewhere the pipeline is disconnected. Must be like this then no Bhav is there. And this is a big problem. You can know all Tattva. You can learn everything. But if there is no Bhav, no fixed, your position, your personality in a relationship that is given by Nityananda in the heart, No working. You are. You don't know who you are. 
and this is a confusion you cannot kid with with knowledge this is not working no knowledge is not bad but if you don't know who you are what is it good for so bhav is needed your your person you have to know and this is the meaning of gaudiya mat one thing come to my heart that uh, is going going to bhav makes you there when your bhav intense is there you connect a boy is your feelings mm-hmm. you connect yourself like that right mm-hmm. but this feeling is one place or two places mm-hmm. or many places mm-hmm. so we sh- share the feelings different places mm-hmm. so when we share the feelings then feelings influence me mm. Mm. when i am living in the spiritual feeling that is influence me mm. when i go to the identification of material and then i live in that feelings that influence me <laughs> Mm. and if i create new feelings that influence me mm. so bhed abhed tatva is a is a difference and non difference mm. we think that there is no difference feeling is there but difference is this that feeling is not one point mm. different different point mm. eh? and that way we can, we we divert in different different feelings mm. now we have to feel it, that what is the best for myself that we need this morning best is for myself and what is the best for me that feeling if i can grow it will be bringing to my highest position you know bro they very nice you explain now a new thing you explain that bed a bed means ping pong <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Good day. I just remembered you gave one time uh, example um from a child. So if a child is born, it feels very connected with the mama. it feels like the mama whatever the mama feels the child feels when it's small because the connection is so strong in bath so strong in emotion in feelings that the child feels what the mother feels and vice versa the mother feels what the child feels and even if the child is not in the room the mother will feel oh my child is calling me mentally from the heart through feelings it's calling me so i have to go so it's a very deep connection but they are not the same person although the child comes out of the body of this one person so you may say yeah but they were one they were one body and then the other body came out of this one body so they are the same but actually they are not the same wow. and 
This is actually a very practical example. And the child may have later on different character. Maybe another person with other good qualities like the mother, but still they are very connected. And maybe there are also specific characteristics from the mother, the child is developing more, more specific and higher. Wow. Nice example. Very good. I, I just repeat what you said, Guru. Yeah. Let me read this verse from this morning. It explains very nice what Gurudev said now. You see, how they do the mercy through the past time to bring close to us. Mm. That is the mercy. What we cannot see, think and dream it, they play their pastime to call more close to us as a manjari. If I'm a manjari of sadhana, mm. if I'm not doing, I will see in different performances with my sadhak deha. That is a normal in material world. Mm. But if I am practicing in Siddha Deha, I will feel it different way. Mm. You see that? Mm. And this is the Vilapko Sumanjali, right? Yeah. Which number? 90. 90, 90. These are the last highest page. My one god brother, eh, Mohan Baba, he only listens after 50 because he wants to be always in that meditation. Wow. <laughs> so he, this is 90. Listen. Buddha Baba today morning, he was reading. And we are meditating after that. So beautiful. Up to 12, we are meditating. <laughs> Our deepest is. Yeah, go on. Should I read? Yeah. I, I only like to add a short what we underlined this morning and what is now our point. The more one experiences Swamini's mercy, the more one Swarup, Swarup will awaken. Wow. Now see that. Listen again, three times you have to say. <laughs> The more one experiences Swamini's mercy, the more one Swarup will awaken. Sri Radha. The more one experiences Swamini's mercy. Mercy, means almost inside I go to the past time. I know about in details of Swamini. My Saru will awaken. Means you are outside, is a covering like a inside is covering, outside is open, and there is no covering inside with Samani and Manjaris. Then Saru awake. Wow. Well, Unfortunately, Gurudev, my Swarub is sleeping, being lullabied lullaby. by uh, external affairs. <laughs> lullaby. See, 
Which page number? Uh, 336, 336, lower part, hmm. explanation. Hmm. Even if I could just spend the day thinking, I am Shri Rata's service, it could be attained. Wow. Again, again, we read it maybe 25, 30 times. Just to understand. The more one experiences Swamini's mercy, what is the meaning of Swamini's mercy, Gurudev? When she show everything to you, how they are past time happening with Radha and Krishna. This is so many mercies to become no lullaby. <laughs> fixed in me. Fixed in me. I'm ready to do everything that you can fix on me. After that, you will see the expression of that. Again, past time will come, go on. Hmm. How affectionately one calls. Tutsi, won't you read? From now on, you should come every day for learning poetry for me. Uh -huh. Swamini has written these poems herself about herself because divine flavors are nowhere else but in her. Wow. Shri Shri Rata Madhava are the divine hero and heroine and their pastimes are called Divyaras. There is no poetry as Rasika as this. The authors of the scriptures on transcendental rasa and bhakti rasa consider the rasa which is aimed at in modern poetry to be the products of materialistic minds and therefore consisting of the three modes of material nature. Or slowly, slowly. We say Maya. Translating. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah. There is no poetry as Rasika slow, as this. More slow. No more slow. Then they cannot translate you. There is no poetry as Rasika as this. Wow. Spoken by Radhika. Wow. Swamini uses the names of another hero and heroine in her romantic poems. She not directly say me and he. With the friend name, she said. And reads them to her maid servant to Lassi. Mm -hmm. To use other names. Knowing her to be her closest confidant, no one is closer to Swamini than Tulsi. Wow. She will not keep anything hidden. She will not keep anything hidden. No hidden past. In them, and she feels very happy while, while revealing these secrets to her maid servants. 
She yeah. she feels very happy while revealing these secrets to her maid servants. This is extreme intimate. Wow, nothing, no wall. There is oneness, Purachanda, real oneness, no, no hiding, all open. Mm -hmm. And it's also different, it's true. And Manjari is also one point. Sure. No one to come out from that. No. If we listen to the poems of Swamini, who likes to come out of this? Mm. Then past time of Mahaprabhu. Now it comes to this. While Sriman Mahaprabhu danced before the card of Lord Jagannath during the Rata Yatra at Puri, he sang a verse. He sang, He is my man who took my maidenhood. Young age. Nobody understood. He was dancing before Lord Jagannath. And Goranga Singh, he is my man who took my maidenhood. This verse is from the Kavya Prakasha about a mundane hero and a heroine. Wow. No one else but Swaru Tamoda could understand the transcendental meaning of Bhagavad Rasa. The Lord found in this verse, He found Bhagavad Rasa in this verse. Wow. Even it was a mountain. No? Oh, yeah. When Swarup Damoda, oh no, sorry, when Srimad Rupa Goswami heard this verse from the Lord's divine mouth, he understood the Lord's inner bath and revealed it by writing the verse Priya Soyam Krishna. He is my beloved Krishna. Wow. So the Lord Himself was singing, He is my man who took my maidenhood. And Rupa understood the mood of Mahaprabhu. And he not write the same words. He write the mood, what he got, what was the meaning of the law. So again, there was some oneness. No? Oneness is there to understand this mood. He is my beloved Krishna. That was the real meaning behind this. When the Lord found this verse on a palm leaf, on the roof of Haidas Thakur's touched cottage, he asked Sri Rupa, no one could understood the meaning of my verse. How did you know the feelings on my mind? Ah. Saying this, he bestowed great mercy upon Sri Rupa mm -hmm. and showed the verse to Swarup Damoda. Mm -hmm. 
In amazement, the Lord asked Swarup, who is actually Lalita. Wow. How did Rupa know what was on my mind? And Swarup Damoda replied, I know that only someone who has received your grace can know what is in your mind. Yeah. Oh. Only when Swamini opens our hearts, give mercy, we can understand her feeling. We can understand her feelings. Right, good. This is mercy. Yeah. It's so beautiful, no? When she opens her mind, then we can feel it. And when she opens her mind, she sees our one pointed. Mm -hmm. The Lord said, I'm satisfied with him, with Sri Rupa. Satisfaction, because he, he understands the mind of Mahaprabhu Radharani. Mm. Then he become Rupa, become Manjari of Radharani. He embraced Sri Rupa and empowered him completely. Empowerment. We know this word also in the material world. Empowering. She empowered him. He is qualified to understand the confidential rasa. And then he said to Swarup Damoda or Lalita, tell him everything about the glories of these confidential flavors. So when Swamini, or in this case, Goranga felt that he was understood by his dear most Rupa, then he gave to Lalita, Swarup Damoda. Tell him everything about the glories of these confidential flavors. These Rupa and Tulasi from Raja are there in Gora Lila, Rupa and Raguna Das. That is why Swamini is so happy to reveal her inner feelings to them. She is so close to them. And now in the Gora Lila, again, as the teacher is, so is the pupil. Tulasi learns these poems after a single hearing. Mm. So, well. only one time. Mm. How beautiful it is to learn this poetry from her and to recite it. I'm your maidservant and you will mount, mount me with your own hands. Mold, I, I, I think it's forming, like forming. Changing, molding. Ch changing, molding. Molding. Because I'm your mate, son. Because I'm your mate, son, something. Uh -huh. no. She is well at... She is well educated in the science that Shimati has taught her and thus she will become expert in Rasika service. Wow. 
then I have to repeat. How beautiful it is to learn this poetry from her and to recite it, or is it recite? Recite, huh? recite it. Recite it. And to recite it. I am your maidservant, and you will mold me. Mold me. Mold, 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 mold forming. Mm -hmm. With your own hands forming. Mm -hmm. So we get formed by her own hands, by Swamini. She is well educated in the science that Srimati has taught her, and thus she will become expert in Rasika services. Wow. Mm -hmm. The relish of devotional service that lead to the blissful meaning, meeting of Sri Sri Rata Madhava is their very means of subsistence. In this duties, the use of poetry is required. Wow. Now, Soniti again sharing poetry and trying to mold us. <laughs> I was just thinking about this sentence, um, Tulasi. I was just hearing it one time and remembering it. How can we remember something we just heard one time? This is actually just possible if it gives a very, very deep emotional impression. It's not possible by the mind. You cannot yeah. remember. Yeah, no. Super. <laughs> Super. Super. Supervani. Now he is not only Gauravani, he is Gaura Supervani. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Parotvani. <laughs> wow. Beautiful Gaura. Now there are there. Yeah. Jai Guru Dev and all. <laughs> so, from this reading, so one word touch my heart. Rashika service. We need Rashika service. No sound special skill need. Don't need Rashika. How to bake the rasa, juicy, prema, intimate relationship. Even though we can practice seva in sadaka deha, but without rasa, it's not our raganura bhakti. No. Even though in this Sadaka Deha, we should do always love in action. This is what I every day learn from both of you, all of you. Thank you very much sharing. So this Rashika service very touch my heart means we need to taste, feeling, this kind of sharing, beautiful poetry, taste together, then the service together in Sadaka Deha and Siddha Deha. We can yeah. share our rasa. Jai Rade. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. 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 Th
We love all Rashkas, Rashka Manjari's children. <laughs> so beautiful. Guravani, can I add something to you, what you said? You was a little astonished that when you hear, listen only one time, you can repeat it. But I, I was thinking, if we listen Radharani by our own one time, that we never can forget, never, when she will tell us something, even a single second we will not forget. The smallest moment that will go so deep, there is no possible to forget it again. This is the moment we are waiting for, that she will speak directly, she will teach us directly, no? isn't it? You're perfectly right. In the material realm, it is a fact also that people cannot remember a thing if they just hear it. Mm. There are two ways to remember something. One way is you are going to hear it again and again and again and again by repeating, then the unconsciousness will take it, then you remember. The other thing is you have a very deep feeling, emotional impression, then you will remember it by the first time. Mm. So because Bhava Deha, Sita Deha, is emotional body and Radharani is giving the highest emotion, of course, it is giving an impression which stays there in one tune immediately because it's from Radha, highest emotion, how it could not stay there in the emotional body. Mm. So it's wonderful. That's why it's so important that we learn to feel again. And what Gurudev is actually pressing us again and again, if you read a verse, don't read it with the mind. Try to feel it go deep inside with the feelings and then it will stay actually, because it will give an emotional impression and we will not forget it. Yeah. 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 This is the mercy of Gurudev that he is teaching the children again and again and again. I heard it millions of times, but it takes so long till it sticks because we are not emotional present. Why? Today I am listening Gaura Sundara comes to my mind. Which which point is bringing out to me? The first bring the face in material world. Second beautiful face bringing out. Second thing, body, beautiful body make out when we come to bodily consciousness. Third thing, beautiful breast bring out to be in material body. Right? Feeling material. Come to the material feeling, we come this way. When you will read 91, you will surprise why Rasikas are writing like this. But he's only to, to not to influence with the material thing, he stay with the Swami. They do this pastime. 
to live with Swami. There is nothing beautiful than this. And if you want to see the massage of Krishna, you can feel it here. Krishna is massaging to Swami in your front. And when you attract as a manjari there, why you will bother for other attraction? Save me. Gora Sundara can share with you his feeling, you know, his high power. Nobody can shake him. When other bhav talks happening, he leave the room. Immediately. Yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Who is Yeah. Yeah. Right, left side, left side, down, there, yeah. 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 Read, read. One, one more verse, 91. Mm -hmm. So, Radhe Radhe, um, may I ask one question uh, for Prasanna Prabhu? May I ask? Ask me what is the problem. Thank you very much. Yeah. About the Stai Baba. So, my question is that how to fix our Stai Baba? Please explain your feeling and uh, experience. This is very helpful. What's the Reading. Then you answer will come. Yes, thank you so much. Rade, rade. I think we missed the first verse, 90. 91. Yes, yeah. so going on in uh, 91. 91 yeah. Oh, Devi, when will you teach me how to play the kapats, kachapi, a kind of vina? Kachapi? In the grove that is filled with humming bees on the shore of your lake. Oh, Devi, when will you teach me how to play the Kachapi, a kind of vina, in a grove that is filled with humming bees on the shore of <coughs> your lake? That means Rata Kund. Your lake. Uh, 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 yeah. Right? Mm. A shore in a grove. That Radha Kund is different to that what we see in, in the present time. We need some imagination to understand the beauty of Ratakund. 
this is not so easy if we know Radha Kund at the present time. There are groves, and many hidden places, and the water is beautiful, flowers, uh, a beautiful breeze is there, all is beautiful. Different season takes place, depend on Lord, one of, depending on the pastimes. In this verse, a vision is described of Swamini teaching the Veena. Oh Devi, when will you teach me how to play the Veena in a grove on the bank of your Kunda? Just like Rasika poetry, Veena playing is also required while serving the divine couple. Tulasi thinks, I want to become expert in anything connected with devotional service. So again, she gives an example to us also. No? To lastly give good example that we also have to learn this. It is also Swamini's desire. So she understands it's also Swamini's desire that she become or we become expert. Let my kinkari become expert in her service. Mm. To, to the lotus feet of such a merciful <laughs> mistress. My Guru Dev has submitted me. He has shown me that the greatest thing in life is Swamini's service and Swamini's maid servant food. This is our tribe. Other desire coming, then my bow is not a sign. <laughs> as long as we jump from branch to branch, there is no speak about sty bath. In the monkey bath. <laughs> monkey bath. Baragya, like in Malkata Baragya. Baragya like a monkey. City is coming by one pointed. If you are one pointed, strange is coming. No one can. He has shown me, Gurudev, that. The greatest thing in life is Swamini's service. There. This is Gauriya Mat. This is Gauriya Mat or Gauriya Vaishnava? Gauriya Vaishnava. Uh -huh. This is. It, actually, it's Mat means school. And you are the teacher of that what Nityananda is giving in Gauda. Right? So somehow we are also in this school, no? Right. He has shown me that the greatest thing in life is Swamini's service and Swamini's maid servanthood. How I'm wasting my life if I am callous. What's that? What is the meaning? Call, call us. Or Callous. That's why it's of us we be geary. No, callous, hard and cold and unfeeling. Hard and cold and unfeeling, says Udava. Ah, okay. Hello. I, how I am wasting my life if I am hard, colded and indifferent towards the lotus feet of such a mistress. 
Cold heart, without feeling, with no rasa. No? You want to give feeling and I have no feeling. Then I waste I'm my sad. time. Right? Hmm. How I'm wasting my life if I'm hard, cold hearted and indifferent towards the lotus feet of such a mistress who personally teach her maidservants how to serve her. She's so merciful. Wow. Even now I could not recognize myself as Ratastasi. <laughs> But I remain immersed in false temporary bodily consciousness, consciousness and its expansions. Still, I going on in this. I could still not take Shirata's lotus feet in my heart or to my chest to massage them. I have to be ashamed if I don't get it, right? Right. Yes, we're feeling. We were not feelings, and not my hand is used for that. Mm. Used that. Yes, breast is all feeling point. Hmm. Wow. Shila Das Goswami who became intoxicated by drinking the honey that trickles from Sri Chaitanya's lotus feet and thus gave up his wife that was as beautiful as an angel and his wealth that equaled of that of Indra, the king of heaven, as if they were stool to become poorer than a beggar wrote in his book, Mukta Charita, I worship the full moon that rose in the sky of Mother Sachi's womb to brighten up the world with the nectar of his own devotion. What kind of people of this age are we? Shivan Mahaprabhu showed us the path of bhajan, of taste, of constant attraction, the path of natural possessiveness. Oh, that can I not speak? Possessiveness. Of? Possessiveness. Experience of rasa, love, and the pinnacle of bliss. This is not the path of fear reverence or obstacles. Yeah. Our path is not the path of fear. What is the opposite of fear? <laughs> Love. Faith. If you have faith, you have no fear. 
Also. Yeah. Safe for love. <laughs> <laughs> Our face is in the love. <laughs> are, are, are. No fear. No fear is uh, Abaya. Abaya Charana. Hey? <laughs> Jai Prabhupada. <laughs> no fear. Everything is possible. Just trust is strong. Our face mm -hmm. and. <laughs> Without experiencing transcendental Bhagavad Rasa, one naturally starts to engage in worldly activities and attachment and constant attraction to Krishna will not arise. Wow. Without experience of transcendental Bhagavad Rasa, and this is the point, Mm. If we don't get the Ras, we're still in the mud. Right. Oh. We need Rasa. And that, we get it mm. if we are in the Gemeinschaft, in the community of a Rasik Vaishnava. Yeah. <laughs> Only those who got it, who store it, the rasa, they can give it. And did we read in the morning about Nityananda? He, he is Mahabhav and he can freely give the rasa. Right, Kishore? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big yes. <laughs> what your Avaduta can do. <laughs> so is at the moment is much space here in the basement. I will show you. <laughs> Where are you all? <laughs> you you know. Need some rasa? Better you come soon. <laughs> so you see, rasa is waiting for you. A lot of space is here. We all miss there, but by your mercy, Punyaji's mercy, we can connect like this. Today, the uh, mm -hmm. the mood in Vrindavan is very, very beautiful. After some days of of uh, extreme heat, today some clouds coming, bluish clouds. And the beautiful cooling breeze is going through whole Vrindavan. It's so nice to be here. I can tell you, it's very beautiful outside. So in, on the uh, place in front of the deities, this big place, you sit there and the wind is going through the trees. It's really, really beautiful. And um, there is this forest in front of the temple. Yeah, because your heart is very beautiful. That's why you can feel it. Thank you for sharing your mood. Only sit here. It's stopping you. Now be with here. Time is not several. Tikaradhe, Radhe.